I'm Andrew Crystal, uh, 2023 NHL Draft Prospect, and I'm coming on I Only Touch Greatness podcast. I'm John Babcock, 2022 NHL Draft Prospect, I Only Touch Greatness podcast. I'm Max Graham, uh, 2022 NHL Draft Prospect, and I'm coming on the I Only Touch Greatness podcast. I'm Caden Fred, 2023 NHL Draft Prospect, and I'm coming on the I Only Touch Greatness podcast. I'm Scott Cousins, 2022 NHL Draft Prospect, and I'm coming on the I Only Touch Greatness podcast. Looking for the most beers on tap, great steaks, great staff, head over to the John B. Pub. We got the best beers, steaks, chicken wings, nachos in town. Come see us at the John B. Pub. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Come sign up for our football pool. Say hey, St. Bean. The number one sports podcast in Vancouver with Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. Ryan Hayes and Big Mike are taking over the podcast scene in Vancouver. Get down or lay down.
and Big Mike. Andrew, uh, born in Burnaby, uh, local boy. Uh, tell us a little about childhood and when you started to play hockey. Yeah, no, I started playing hockey probably when I was around three, or skating at least, and I got into hockey shortly after. But yeah, no, I was from, I was kind of from Vancouver actually, not not so much Burnaby, but kind of near the Point Grey area. Um, but yeah, no, it was great childhood. Like, yeah, we kind of got into hockey pretty early and kind of took it from there. So yeah, it was good. Okay. Okay. And uh, John, uh, born in North Van, uh, give us a little bit of childhood and then when you started playing hockey. Yeah, I, uh, I started when I was six years old and then just uh, took off from there, I guess. My dad coached me uh, through the years and played in North Van and uh, got drafted to Kelowna. Perfect. Okay. And uh, Max, hopefully my stats are right here, but I believe born in Whitehorse, but uh, grew up in Kelowna. Is that right? And when did yeah. you start playing hockey? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I actually started playing hockey when I was uh, three in Merritt, and then I moved over to Kelowna when I was uh, started Bantam. And then, uh, yeah, so I've been in Kelowna since Bantam. Okay. And uh, Caden, uh, born in Saskatoon, uh, when did you start playing hockey? Yeah, my dad's been a huge influence. He, uh, he put me on the skates around three or four, and then I just played local uh, in, the, in the area around five and uh yeah he's been a huge influence and i've just played hockey ever since then in saskatoon okay and uh scott born in pg uh yeah. when did you start playing hockey i uh, started my hockey career around three or three or four and uh not a whole lot more to do in prince george other than uh play hockey so just yeah, yeah that's early sure. early years just playing hockey out in the pond and stuff like that yeah, I've been to Prince George. There's not much up there about hockey. Um, no. <laughs> uh, what do you guys all want to – we could go in the same order. Uh, what do you guys see yourself wanting to accomplish in the next few years? Um, yeah, hopefully uh, with this team we can win a couple games and, you know, win a couple playoff series. And I guess personally, hopefully, you know, cops your dream and go in the NHL and all that. But, yeah, just for the short future, win some, win some hockey games and, and, yeah, have a good run in the playoffs. Yeah, I see. Uh, you said that pretty well. Um, obviously, we want to go as far as we can with uh, this team. And, uh, you know, from a personal standpoint, being drafted this year would be would be something spe very special. Yeah, I, I agree with both of you, too. Like, uh, it would be nice to have a really good season here with the Rockets. And then, personally, I'd like to... Um, be drafted, I guess. And, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. I, I'd say the same thing. I think, uh, being the first year in the league, I think that, uh, experience a big playoff run or a deep playoff run. I think that'll be super cool. And yeah, next year, hopefully just keep going along and being drafted, hopefully. And then, uh, hopefully, uh, playing pro. Sometime. Yeah, I think the boys the boys were on the spot with uh, what we want to accomplish this year and years to come. But for me personally, I'd want to say, uh, like, if the draft doesn't work out this year, there's always the, the overseas option. I, I think it would be really cool to kind of experience what hockey's like over there. And also, it's nice having the, uh, the WHL, like, school fund, where if uh, hockey doesn't work out for us, we also have that school that we can rely and fall back on. And Absolutely, we've, we've heard nothing but good things about playing in Europe. They say it's yeah. really fun. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you guys have any uh, nicknames? What's your favorite jersey number and why? Uh, my nickname is pretty basic, just AC. Just first name's Andrew, last name's Crystal. So that's pretty much that. Uh, I wear 28 right now, but my favorite number is definitely 14. <laughs> uh, grew up watching the Canucks, you know, Alex Burroughs, and, and then I – Fell in love with him kind of a little bit during the his playoff runs and you know the Chicago goal and everything. So yeah, yeah I'm wearing 28 just because it's like kind of doubled, and I got that when I got there, so I didn't really get a pick. But yeah, playing the dragon that was yes. a sweet goal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my nickname's Babs. Uh, I don't know. My last name's Babcock, and uh, Babs just kind of stuck with me. Uh, I'm currently wearing number five, but. Uh, I uh, grew up wearing jersey number 18. Okay. Uh, yeah, my nickname's Grammar. I uh, 
didn't really have a nickname through minor hockey, but when I started playing junior, I just got grammar and it kind of stuck. And uh, I'm wearing number seven right now. And I've been uh, number seven for quite a while. When I first got here in Kelowna, I didn't really have too much of a choice. I was the younger kid on the team and I got stuck with seven, but then it really grew on me. So I just, uh, I just decided to stick with it. Yeah, my nickname's Pricer, and I think the boys just added an R in the end, kind of like grammar, and I uh, stuck with it ever since. And uh, I wear number three right now for the Rockets, but uh, growing up, I think four and 14, I just they just grew on me, and I just love those numbers, so those would be my favorite numbers. And my name, my nickname's Kazi. Uh, I wasn't Kazi during, like, my midget years and uh, minor years, but uh, it was Scotty, but we got a, we got a trainer uh, on our team named Scotty. So kind of switched it up to Cuzzy. And then I wear number 16 right now. My favorite number is 91. So I guess if you just kind of flip them around a little bit, it kind of works together. And I also wear 16 in uh, midget. So that's kind of why. Oh, I sure like the 14 reference out there. Cause that's my number too. So yeah. Yeah, bunch <laughs> yeah. of good kids. <laughs> uh, who do you guys meet your game after? Try and play like. Um. Yeah. No, I definitely watch a lot of guys. Uh, big ones definitely Patrick Kane though. Just he's so deceptive on the ice, and and he scores in so many different ways, and has such a high IQ. So, um, that's definitely the one I probably watch the most and try to model myself after. But again, there's a bunch of guys. I mean, Johnny Gaudreau, um, like Cal Connor, like yeah, a bunch of guys. So. Yeah, I try to muddle my game after Morgan Riley being uh, from North Van. He's also from West Van, pretty close to each other. So uh, he's a left-hand shot. I'm a left-hand shot. And, uh, yeah, I just feel like I can pull a lot of uh, similarities from his game. Uh, yeah, I guess I try to kind of play like um, Patrice Bergeron. He's a centerman like me, and he's solid in all the zones of the ice and uh, is really good in the face-off dot, which I try to be on the ice. So, yeah, Bergeron. Yeah, for me, I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm shooting for the stars or anything, but I would say, like, Kale McCarr, or, like, Bowen Byram. <laughs> I mean, pretty top, end, pretty top end guys, but I don't know. That's about all I can think of. <laughs> uh, yeah, just their offensive ability and their skating as well as – I mean, Bo and Byron's got a little grit to him, which I like, and uh, their first pass is, is key. Good Dude. choice. Good choice. I thought we're we're oh. huge Bo and Byron fans. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. The boys are telling me to say Connor McDavid, but I, I just can't. Uh, <laughs> I'd have to go. Uh, I like, like Maxie said there, uh, Patrice Bergeron, but other than that, I'd say someone like Rupe Hans or uh, – almost Nikolai Ehlers a little bit. I think I see shades my game in them. So okay. good, good choices. Good choices. And do you guys have a favorite sports movie? <sighs> sports movie? Uh, probably. What would it be? I don't know. I really like, well, non-hockey. I like the blind side. Thought that was good pretty choice. Yeah. great movie. Yeah. And on hockey, probably one of the ducks or a miracle. So yeah, you can't, can't really mess with those ones. Nope. Yeah, uh, tough choice. Uh, I'd probably go with uh, either Happy Gilmore or Grader. Uh, I like watching Grader. That uh, that story about Brandon Burlesworth was uh, pretty good. Hit home with me. Okay. Uh, yeah, me too. Like if I was going with hockey, I'd probably go with uh, one of the Mighty Duck movies. But uh, outside of hockey. Uh, I like the longest yard. It's a pretty funny movie. It's not based on anything true, but I got a couple it's a good of one. out of it. Yeah. It's a good one. Uh, for me, I mean, it's not really a movie. It's more of a series, but I'd say the last dance, I think seeing all that behind the scenes stuff with Michael Jordan was just super cool to see. So, uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't really like hockey movies. I think they're cheesy, but, uh, <laughs> I'd go with probably happy Gilmore. I'd say it's just a solid good choice. choice. Sweet, good we choice. love it. No, that was actually filmed right around here in Maple Ridge, actually. Uh, Andrew uh, drafted eighth overall to the Rockets. Uh, bring us back to draft day. Yeah, uh, it was pretty low key just because it's kind of right in the middle of COVID. So I just had my family over, a couple friends. Uh, woke up and then just turned on the TV. We kind of sat 
sat in the living room and then yeah I guess it happened we were all pretty excited you know hugging each other but yeah and no, it was a really good day and take us back to your first WHL goal and do you sell the puck yeah I do have the puck it's actually is it here no I don't think it's here but I think it's in Vancouver but uh yeah no it's pretty good play like we kind of just kept cycling the puck down um then Carmi got it on top Carmichael uh I was kind of just in front of the net uh kind of had better body position than defender I uh, shot it it's kind of a greasy tip uh but I was pretty fired up after it so wouldn't have it any other way but yeah no it was good and uh John uh taking back to draft day for you draft 110th overall and also uh taking back to your first NHL or first WHL game sorry in Vancouver yeah so uh Draft day, we were actually in Philadelphia for that WSI tournament, which was a pretty pretty neat tournament. Uh, yeah, we were with I was with my whole spring team, and uh, it was pretty cool. We were just watching the whole whole draft class going on, and uh, when I saw my name got called, I was pretty fired up, and all the boys came over, and we had a had a little celebration, and then uh, first WHL game in Vancouver. Had uh, a lot of family and friends there, so that was a pretty cool experience. Was that like last week or two weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. Yeah, yeah we, we were at that game. I saw your family outside, so I remember I remember seeing a bunch of people outside, so after oh, the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah that's we, sweet. And, yeah, we were definitely and, there. And uh, Max, uh, different bath for you, kind of going undrafted and then uh, breaking out and then uh, break out here, and then you end up uh, playing the dub at 16. Uh, tell us a little bit about your path and uh, take us back to your first WHL goal and you still got the puck. Yeah, so, yeah, so I did go. I went undrafted uh, out of Bantam and then went into the minor midget year. Uh, wasn't listed or signed signed with the team, but um, ended up doing pretty well in that league. And then by Christmas time, I had been listed and I signed with Everett. And then, uh, yeah, uh, my first WHL goal is actually an empty netter. <laughs> against Victoria okay. so uh yeah it was uh six on four at the end of the game and then uh puck was just on the wall went for a clear and I got lucky enough that it went in wasn't really aiming for the net but I'll take it <laughs> hey goal's a goal yeah exactly <laughs> and uh Caden uh drafted a 30th overall to the Kelowna Rockets bring us back to draft day and uh first WHL goal for you and you still got the puck uh, yeah, draft day was uh, just in COVID, like Andrew's, uh, just the family, just our family was around and uh, we were just chilling out and uh, watching the draft. So I was just kept scrolling, refreshing, refreshing the page, hoping my name was getting called and then 30 came and I got called by the Rockets and uh, yeah, I just such, such high praise on the Rockets. So it was such an honor to be selected by them. And uh, yeah, so my first goal, it was a DD pass and then I was just trying to get a lane. And uh, Rylan Kovacevic, he had a flash screen on the goalie. And I think it hit Victoria's player off his shin pad and went high. High blocker. So, goal's a goal. I mean, I was super stoked. So, I had a big celly. But, yeah. That's awesome. And, uh, Scott, a uh, little different path for you as well. Undrafted and winning player of the year in Major Midget. And, uh, and then signing on with the Rockets. Bring us to yeah. your path and uh, your first WHL goal. Yeah, so it was uh, like kind of similar to Maxi. It was uh, different, def diff eh, definitely different than uh, a lot of kids and the way that they make it into the league. But uh, yeah, I'd say like similar to him, we both had really good years in the minor midget league. He doesn't like talking about the player of the year award. It's a sore spot for him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, it was a good, we had a good team and it was a, it was a really good year for me. And then I think a little bit after Max, I was listed with the Rockets and uh kind of worked it took me a little bit longer to sign with the rockets than uh him with everett but yeah i just kept working and got the contract signed and then uh, i got into the bubble last year and got my first goal one of the grubbiest goals you'll ever see but uh we'll take it out we can get it it was uh, a turnover by the defenseman a turnaround slap shot that uh hit somebody one of the guys sticks and uh rainbowed over top of the goalie so they don't ask how, they ask how many, though. So. No, exactly. That's right. That's right. <laughs> go to go to Selly. Probably yeah. Good. yeah, go to Selly, probably one knee, and then, like, a little caner, hand tap, or, oh. or bow and arrow. So either, either one of those I usually do, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not Mr. Showtime where I don't score that many goals, so. 
<laughs> what I do, I don't know. It's kind of in the moment, hands up. Why, you're not out there pulling off a lacrosse goal like uh, Crystal over there? <laughs> you no, know, I'm just the guy feeding them. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, me too. I don't really have a go-to Sally. It's just when I score, I kind of – just uh, happens naturally, I guess. Uh, sometimes hands up in the air, but yeah, uh, I don't really have a go-to. Yeah, I would say same thing as AC. I, I don't know what, but I got just a bad habit in bantam. Uh, I would just, I would when I would score, it would be the same thing, and it was honestly like it was just routine. It was so weird. So yeah, I'd say the Patty Kane little hand tap is on one knee is what I would do. It was routine because he scored so many goals, eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for me, I mean, it's it's been a minute since I've been able to sell you, but uh, <laughs> I'd say probably down on one knee, maybe uh, the the sword into the into the sling there. I don't know. Other than that, maybe yeah, I just chuck the hands in the air. I don't know. I'm out at beer league and I'm always hitting my goal celebration. It's like, you can't see me. Yeah. I probably wouldn't do that in the dub. You get jumped pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. I got, jumped, I, I got yeah. jumped in beer league. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this one, AC, we just talked about it, but uh, let's touch back on that goal, man. That's a beauty. You scored there. Uh, the Michigan lacrosse goal. How many times you try that before I uh, ended up accomplishing it? Yeah, I mean, I try it a lot, actually, like most times in practice and at the end of every warm I do it. So it's I've tried a lot, finally got in the game, though. I've been, yeah, definitely trying it for a little while, but it was a pretty cool moment. And, yeah, I was pretty fired up when it happened. Yeah, pretty sweet to get it before. Pretty sweet to get it before Bedard, too, in the dub. And uh, that selling yeah, was, was pretty sweet, too. Yeah, I was joking <laughs> about that with him. Yeah, yeah I got it for him. So sweet, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and uh, any pregame rituals or routines for you guys? Mm. Game, uh, not really anything crazy. I usually have a shower before um, and then get to the rink. I'm pretty loose, though, so I don't really do anything anything major, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm the same way. I kind of just try to stay relaxed as I can. I like to joke around before games, but then uh, when puck drops, I'm, uh, I'm a pretty serious guy and in the game to win it. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have many sometimes on ice warm up. I'll stay out until I got to finish it off with a nice shot. Can't get off if I keep missing the net. So finish it off with a shot, maybe bar down or something like that. And then I'll get off the ice. That's about it. Might take you a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd say not, not to nothing to, to uh, just probably I eat the same almost every every home game anyways I eat the same meal and then I usually have a shower or uh, and then I go for a walk but other than that at the rink I'm pretty loose I just stretch out and tape my sticks yeah for me I like to think that I have rituals but none of them really stick uh, I, I guess I take a pregame nap and that's probably about it okay and uh, Caden and John have you guys both uh, always been defensemen yeah, I started out as a forward, actually. My dad was a coach. It's a little bit of a funny story. Um, yeah, so I I was a forward, and I scored three goals in a game, so my dad put me on D, and he was a D-man himself. So, I don't know. Next game, I was on D and stuck with that. He thought I was a better D-man than I was a forward, so I, I owe pops for that one. <laughs> I hear you. That's a nice uh, November you got going on there, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's coming along. <laughs> yeah, geez, I was thinking that I can't even grow hair anywhere. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably, why you're, right probably why you're still single. Hey, well, <laughs> that's definitely not the only reason. <laughs> the, uh, uh, hey, Ryan, I'm going to hit him with the Ryan. draft. I'm going to hit yeah. him with the draft question. Um, if you were an animal, what would you be? Animal. Um, I guess I don't know. Maybe a lion. They kind of rule the jungle. That would King be of the cool. jungle, eh? <laughs> yeah, oh, classic. AC <laughs> would say that, eh? Classic. <laughs> I, I, think. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'd probably be a dog. I have two of my own, so um, they seem like they got it pretty good. Yeah, they, they do. Wouldn't mind right. being one. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't know. I, I think I'll go with like an eagle, something like that, something that can fly. And uh, yeah, I'll oh, probably an eagle. Uh, I'd say a tiger, probably. I don't know. They, they look cool and they're scary. So that's about it. <laughs> Uh, I'd go with a hyena because I uh, I like to yap and I piss people off. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's good. awesome. That, that's good. That's how I play too. The I always pick a dolphin because I got no hair and a nose like a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's a solid. That's a solid beak you got there. That's for sure. Yeah, that's a hockey beak. <laughs> hey, uh, hey. hundred hundred dollar bill, the bottom of a toilet, twenty dollar bill on the counter. Which one are you guys going for? Um. Yeah, I think you gotta go for the hundred dollar one, right? I guess that's yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah. No, definitely the hundred dollar one. Yeah, I'm with AC. I'm uh, I'm going for the hundo. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, same. No matter what's in the toilet, I'm going for a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred dollars. I need a hundred dollars right now. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the scouts definitely want to hear. Uh, you're willing to get your hands dirty. That's for sure. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna yeah. shoot. The, I'm gonna shoot. Um, if you guys were having a dream dinner party and you could invite three famous people to attend your party, who do, who would you want to invite, dead or alive? Dead or alive. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, three famous people. I think probably one of them's got to be Gretzky. Um, yeah, he's definitely on top of the list. Uh, who else would be? Man, I don't know. Like, I guess McDavid just change the game you know he's crazy talented and and all that and then i don't know maybe like michael jordan i think just kind of pick his brain a little bit he's got crazy mentality and all that so yeah those probably be three okay. good choices yeah i'd go with uh david goggins uh he's uh someone i look up to uh i'd probably go michael jordan and scott cousins <laughs> all it, all it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, seems like I'm kind of copying these guys, but I think I'd go, uh, Gretzky, Michael Jordan, and maybe Tiger Woods are all people that were, uh, top of their the goats. be uh, pretty interesting to talk to people who are, uh, the best in their sport. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I would go Kevin Hart. It'd be funny just to sit down with him and chat it up. Uh, Michael Jordan, for sure. Just all his mentality and stuff. And then uh, Megan Fox. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh. Got a boy. Got a boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the Kevin Hart one. I'd go with Kevin Hart for sure. Probably Kyrie Irving. I think he's a pretty cool guy. He's got some different uh, theories. So I'd go with him, pick his brain a little bit, and then Shaquille O'Neal for sure. Oh, nice. <laughs> I always go uh, Muhammad Ali, Wayne Gretzky, and a little eye candy, Carrie Underwood. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then, yeah, for me, it's always uh, Tupac, Seth Rogen. Could be oh, my comedian. Seth be a good one. Uh, yeah, that'd be oh. my, and he's from Vancouver, of course. So oh, Seth yeah. Rogen, then my eye candy. I always go with like a Blake Lively. Yeah, I might have to throw oh, yeah. Seth Rogen in actually as well. Good luck, Chuck. At least I can beat up Mike Fisher. There's no way you're taking on uh, Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I kind of look. I'm, my name's Ryan, and I kind of look like Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your guys' favorite road barn? Oh, road barn. <laughs> Man, I think we've only played in like three. So three or four. Oh, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, um, probably what would it be? Yeah, I'm pretty excited to get down to the States and obviously try that. But so far, I guess it'd be Van just because I had a bunch of family at the game and all that. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, we haven't really played in much, but uh, I know PG is not up there. Uh, I really like Vic. <laughs> and uh, Van was pretty, pretty some, something cool because uh, just like Andrew, I had family there. Uh, I think so far for me, probably Spokane. I played there last year with Everett and, uh, yeah, I found it was pretty nice there. So it'd be even better with the uh, fans in the building cheering, uh, booing everyone. So yeah, it would be nice. Uh, for me, I think I'd say, I mean, I guess it wasn't in a real game. It was only in preseason, but I'd say Kamloops just because of the rival rivalry. And, like, it's just such an electric barn. I mean, only half capacity or whatever the game was, but it's just such an electric game every time we play them, so. I got to go with Prince George. I mean, it's not <laughs> anything special, but it's, it's hometown, and I love hearing 
the boys complain about it the whole time as well. So <laughs> <laughs> we hear nothing about good things about that whole uh, Seattle trip. They go to the, you hit all the teams down the Washington, like Portland, and uh, yeah, all the, all those ranks. That's, we usually get yeah, Portland's usually the number one answer we get. Yeah. Uh, if there's a karaoke contest and you had to sing one song, I know some teams do like a rookie initiation. What song are you singing? Yeah, um, I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I kind of did win our rookie. rookie hey, year. we know so who's big champ deal. is here. So, uh, I don't know, my opening was like Every Time We Touch by Cascada. So Okay, uh, okay. I don't know, it's kind of a good one. Kind of builds up as you go. So, yeah, it was mine probably. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, as the boys know, I'm not uh, not really the singer. So, I'd probably go with uh, Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. Good Great choice. Team. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. well, in the Rookie Idol back from Prince George, I sang Rockstar by Nickelback, and it uh, got me second place, so I'll probably go with that. Well, who came first? AC. <laughs> <laughs> who really came first, though? Who really came not, first? Not Scott. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, I sang Just Enough For You, but I don't know. Uh, my teammate, Flam, and he, he kind of sued me. It wasn't that good of a song. So, But I think if I were to do it again, I would do – I think it's called Firework by Katy Perry. I think yep. I'd do it. Uh, I just want to touch on the fact that these kids said that they came ahead of me. I uh, <laughs> got scummed out because I won last year, so I got scummed this year pretty good. But I went with Live Wire by Motley Crue, and then uh, – a song called Molly Cyrus, which is a pretty <laughs> disgusting song, honestly, but definitely not PG. Uh, I go with, okay. I think, Livewire again. I did Welcome to the Jungle last year, and that one did pretty well as well. So, okay. And is that, did you guys say you did the idol uh, on the way home from PG? Yeah. 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 Oh, fuck. that's a long bus ride. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My karaoke song would probably be The Humpty Dance. <laughs> 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 Uh, what colors you guys have stick tape and uh, favorite Gatorade color? Um, stick tape is pretty much white strictly. Yeah, I think you should go with that. And then Gatorade color, it's, uh, I think it's got to be blue. Yeah. So basic. Yeah, I'm, I'm white. Uh, stick tape's white. And then uh, Gato, I go with uh, yellow. <laughs> oh, basic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, my stick tape, it's uh, black, and for Gato, I'm probably going to go blue. It's what we have in the room most of the time, so I'm just getting used to it, yeah. Uh, I use white stick tape. I do a little puck rub on it, and, and I'd say my favorite Gato is either red or blue. Uh, my stick tape kind of varies. I go back and forth between black and white. Uh, then Gatorade color, I'm going to go off the board here with green apple Gatorade. Yeah. Whoa. Unreal. <laughs> I got a good choice. I don't, I don't know. About that one, but... <laughs> I, I agree with you on that one. I'll give you that one. Thank you. Do you have a certain song that you would love to listen to every time before you went on the ice? Is it like a pump up song for you guys? Or who's the Rockets uh, DJ, by the way? Pardon? Jake Lee. Jake oh, Lee. Yeah, it's Leaser. Spot on, too. Very good. Shout out, Jake Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, he, he's usually pretty good on the aux chord, so whatever he plays, I'm kind of listening to, yeah. Yeah, uh, whatever Leezer plays kind of goes, but uh, I kind of mess with uh, some EDM before the game. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm good with what Leezer plays too, but when I'm about five minutes away from the rink, I'll toss on some Kickstart My Heart and listen to that until I get to the parking lot, and then to, that's about it, yeah. Good choice. For me, I think uh, it's a little EDM mix-up called Zoo Animal. I think Scotty can attest to it. I listen to it probably almost every, every time. Every we go, time. But he wants to turn it off, so that would be my... <laughs> uh, for me, I'd go with anything by Meek Mill or Tory Lanez. Those, those two are kind of my go-tos pre-game. They get me fired up. So okay. we, did, we, uh, didn't hear the, we didn't hear the Big Booty mix. Oh, <laughs> I yeah, can get oh, yeah no, I'm pretty big on the big booty mixes too, so that's <laughs> definitely one of mine. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. usually our go-to one with our hockey guys. They always say big booty remix. I had I'm never, like, right. I had never even heard of this until they started bringing it up in every interview, and I had to go check it out. And there's like 30 of them. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least you guys. Uh, do you have any hidden talents? Um. Uh, I, I don't think I have any hidden talents to be honest. Yeah. No, nothing, nothing crazy. I don't think I can't really think of it. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I'm with AC here. I can't think of it. I'm sure I got one though. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know. When I was younger, I used to race uh, dirt bikes quite a bit, so I'm not bad at riding a dirt bike. But other than that, that's about it. Yeah. I'd say the same thing. I don't know. Nothing really much, I guess. I used to play uh, bass clarinet back in uh, elementary school. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. There you go. The Uh, boys aren't going to let that down. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna have to let him clarinet in front of the team in the dress yeah. room. Pump up song. Hey, that should that should be your celly. Pull out the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got a lot of hidden talents actually. I I'm a pretty good athlete. Basketball, soccer, football. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'll do well. <laughs> oh no! I uh, uh honestly though, basketball. I'd say basketball. I'm like, I'm a baller, so. Let's okay. one be- uh, who's yeah. the best golfer? Who's the best golfer? This guy I don't golf. out, of, out of us, or, or yeah, out of these, out of these guys. Uh man, probably. Let me hear it, AC. Yeah, I guess, I guess Babs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'd say Babs. Yeah, I'd say Babs probably too. Uh, I'd, uh, say, this- I'd I'd take myself over Babs to be. <laughs> <honest>. <laughs> Because <laughs> no. oh, I heard you don't even have clubs. I'm just joking. Babs <laughs> is definitely better than I am. Do they <laughs> golf? Do they golf in PG? I thought it was just hunting and fishing up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's. We got one course. We got one or two. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, R- okay. R- rum jungle or <laughs> <laughs> the no, uh, alibis? You mean? <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called nowadays. Yeah, definitely. Hey, if what's scouter, the be- a... what's, yeah? What's the best chirp you guys have heard this season so far? Oh. Or who's the worst chirper in the league so far? Uh, I'd have to go with Scott Cousins. I kind of have the best reels here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of the things he says are just offside. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't make sense. Like, he used to say them in Pee Wee. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, for me, I I don't really know. I hate to throw him under the bus, but Rylan Kavasvic, he's always – talking out on the ice but uh none of the chirps are really all that great but i give it to him he's chirping more than me so yeah i can't think <laughs> that was from him. uh i don't know about worse but i'd say one of the better ones i've heard is jake lee and jackson d'souza they got some funny stuff to say on the d the d bench so yeah i go okay. there I'm going to be honest. I haven't heard a lot of chirping at all this year. It's more honestly in the room chirping. I think listening to Rylan and uh, Jax go back and forth is pretty funny as well as Jake cool going with Rylan makes for a good laugh. <laughs> so <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, if a scouter GM were to ask, uh, what do you guys bring to the table or describe your game? Um, yeah. I mean, I think I'm like a pretty skilled, skilled forward. Um, I think my best attributes are probably my IQ um in my hands um so yeah just competitive game really hungry to win and like hungry to succeed so um yeah i know those are probably the my assets i guess yeah yeah i feel like i bring a good amount of grit on the back end Uh, i feel like i'm a pretty physical player uh pretty solid in the d zone and sprinkling some offense every once in a while uh my biggest attribute is my competitiveness to win. Yeah, uh, I feel like I'm a pretty solid 200 foot forward. I uh, take pride in the D zone, but of course, love to score goals and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, strongest attribute, pr- probably my uh, my compete, something like that. Yeah, uh, I'd say offensive defenseman. Uh, I think here we first, go. Here we first, go. <laughs> I think first passed out, first pass out of the zone is pretty huge for me, and just keeping it simple for the most part, but sprinkling in some some uh, risky plays. But uh, yeah, offensive first pass. I think my biggest attribute is probably my skating. 
Uh, I think whenever I use my, uh, my, my boots and play with confidence, that's when I play my best. Uh, I'd say for me, like Grammer said, 200 foot game. I think uh, I'm also a player that's not afraid to get his uh, nose dirty and get to the, the hard areas and score some grubby goals. I think my biggest attribute is probably just my, I think my puck sense and my puck awareness, I'd say is probably my biggest asset. Hey fellas, I just want, yeah. Hey fellas, I just want to thank you guys uh, all for taking the time for us today and coming on and chatting with us. Uh, we're obviously big fans of you guys and big fans of Rockets and uh, we wish you best of luck this year and uh, for the rest of your guys' career. And you got fans in us for life. So we'll always be seeing you after the games. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Fun.